Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is solved examples on transmission line parameters. Uh, I have already created one video related to derivation of transmission line parameter. Next part of that video is we will solve few examples related, related to that derivation. We need this formula. Z0 is characteristic impedance which is square root of R plus J omega L upon G plus J omega C. Gamma is under root of R plus J omega L into G plus J omega C. Then gamma is also expressed as alpha plus J beta. Alpha is known as attenuation co coefficient or attenuation constant. Beta is the phase shift. The wavelength lambda is given as 2 pi upon beta where beta is the phase shift. Vp velocity of propagation is omega upon beta. Now consider one numerical. A transmission line has following primary constants. We know that R, L, C, G, register, inductor, capacitor and conductance, G stands for conductance, are primary constants. So these are the given values. All primary constants are expressed in terms of per kilometer. At 1 kilohertz, calculate, 1 kilohertz is the frequency F, F is given as 1 kilohertz, calculate Z0, that means characteristic impedance, then alpha, attenuation constant, beta, phase shift, lambda wavelength and vp velocity of propagation as i mentioned you need to make use of this formula apart from this dear students i have already created one video related to how to do the conversion from rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular as well as how to do the uh, calculations using complex mode of calculator do watch that video so that these calculations will be more easy i will provide the link of that video in the description box so, first part is, I need to calculate value of Z0, Z0 is characteristic impedance. Formula to calculate Z0 is under root of R plus J omega L upon G plus J omega C. Simply, I need to put the values. Keep in mind, you cannot calculate the square root directly on the calculator. We have to use some different tricks if the things are given in complex mode. As such, these values are in complex mode. J indicates the complex term. So, simply I will put the values in this formula. So, R is 11 ohm per kilometer. One important thing. Uh, basic unit of transmission line parameters is per kilometer. You don't have to convert it in terms of meter. Keep it as it is. So, R is 11 plus J. Omega is 2 pi F. Basic formula of omega is 2 pi F. F is 1 kilohertz. But you need to convert this 1 kilohertz into hertz. So it becomes 2 pi into 1 kilohertz that is 1000 hertz that is 2000 pi. This is the value of omega. So J 2000 pi into L. L is the value of inductor which is 0 0.00367. 0 0.00367. Now divided by g value of g is conductance see it is given as pointed but it is micro mo unit basic unit is mo so it is 0.8 since it is expressed as micro mo so it is pointed into 10 raised to minus 6 this is the value of g plus j omega value of omega just now we discussed 2000 pi into c value of c is capacitance which is nano farad per kilometer 1 nanofarad is 10 raised to minus 9 farads. So it is 8.35 into 10 raised to minus 9. What do you need to do? Simply keep numerator term as it is. I mean I will keep this numerator term as it is. Or you can well simplify 2000 pi into 0 .00 367. So keep it in the numerator term. This term you need to simplify it and uh, I will write the numerator term 11 plus J 2000 pi. You need to simplify this into 0 0.00367 divided by this first term. I am keeping it as it is into 10 raised to minus 6 plus J. You need to simplify this on the calculator. So you will get some value over here after doing the calculations on the calculator. Now, uh, to make the things more simple, uh, you can well do the calculation separately of this part that is R plus J omega L and this part separately uh, 
that is the value of g plus j omega c presently i will directly put the values so the values will become after simplifying this i will get 11 this term as it is plus j this part is j 23.06 what i did 2000 pi into point not not 367 so i am getting this answer divided by keep in mind this square root is for entire term divided by g plus j omega c so this value becomes 0 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 6 this term as it is plus j 52.46 into 10 raised to minus 6 once you will solve this part 2000 pi into 8.35 into 10 raised to minus 6 and keeping j as it is you will get this answer now but important thing when you are doing calculations with related to complex term for square root will be calculated later on first you need to perform this division to perform multiplication or division use the calculator i mean keep the values convert the values in polar form this particular thing like a plus j b or 11 plus j 23.06 these values are known as rectangular values values you need to convert it into polar form so keep this square root sign as it is so i am converting numerator term in polar form and denominator term in polar form so you will get 25 point 549 at an angle 64.5 degree as i right now mentioned do watch that video so you you will come to know how to convert rectangular form into polar form without which this conversion you cannot simplify this calculation divided by again i need to convert this part into polar form so after converting it into polar form you will get 52.46 into 10 raised to minus 6 at an angle 89.12 degrees now how to simplify it further see this part apart from angle is called magnitude similarly this is the magnitude for second term simply perform the division of magnitude on the calculator so next part can be written like this z0 is equals to throughout the calculation i am keeping square root as it is perform this division after performing this division you will get some answer in the numerator then as far as angles are concerned you need to perform the subtraction of angle that means division of angle means subtraction of angle so you are getting some numerator term after performing this uh, uh, division I will denote it by saying A. After doing this on the calculator, you will get some answer. So at an angle, as far as angles are concerned, perform this subtraction of angles. Division of angles means subtraction of angles. Whereas, perform division of magnitude using normal uh, division method. So you will get 64.5 minus 89.12 degrees. This is the answer you will get after solving this particular thing as i mentioned this a indicates division of these two terms okay i will write the answer for this part a as well so in the square root you will get this value as after performing this division so you will get this answer 487018.68 at an angle 64.5 minus 89.12 division of angle means subtraction of angle so it will be minus 24.62 degrees keep in mind up to this step i have kept square root sign as it is now the last part for calculation of z0 take the square root of this part this is known as magnitude take the square root of this value that is square root of 487018.68 so this answer will be 697.86 at an angle square root of angle means divide angle by 2 you should not take directly square root of this value square root of angle means angle is divided by 2 so this answer will be 12.31 degrees 
this is the value of z0 z0 is known as characteristic impedance since it is impedance its unit is ohm this is the answer of first part that is we have calculated the value of z0 now second part we need to calculate alpha then in the third part we need to calculate beta but we know that gamma that is propagation constant is alpha plus j beta so what i will be doing i will be first calculating value of gamma we know the formula to calculate gamma is we already discussed this formula gamma is under root of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c now in the earlier calculation we have already uh, done this calculation of r plus j omega l and calculation of g plus j omega c separately this value is for the equation r plus j omega l denominator represents g plus j omega c so simply i will put this value so it becomes 11 plus j 23.06 we have done this calculation in the earlier part by doing calculation of z0 this numerator term was for r plus j omega l this was for g plus j omega c so it becomes 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 6 plus j 52.46 into 10 raised to minus 6 again keep the square root as it is we have to take the multiplication now this is in rectangular form anything which is like this a plus j b is known as rectangular form if you convert it into polar you will get the answer like this c at an angle d degree so uh, first part to take the multiplication you need to convert this first term as well as second term into the polar form so i will convert these values in the polar form i will keep the square root as it is first convert these values separately into the polar form and then we will perform the multiplication now what do you need to do take multiplication 11 and this term 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 6 you will get this answer uh, but before taking multiplication you need to convert it into polar form so first i will be converting this term and second term this term into the polar form directly you should not take the multiplication so convert it into polar form so this is the answer of first part that is this bracket term similarly for the second part 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 6 plus j whatever this answer is the second term at an angle uh, 89.126 now what do you need to do take multiplication of these magnitudes so magnitude means this value 25.5492 and this value take multiplication of these two terms you will get answer 1.34 into 10 raised to minus 3 as far as angles are concerned these angles i am talking about multiplication of angle this is the multiplication sign multiplication of angles means addition of angles so after adding the angles you will get this answer now last step so i will write the gamma like this i need to take the square bracket take the square root of this numerator term i mean take the square root of this magnitude term so answer of gamma will be 0.0366 what i did i took the square root of this part only this this part magnitude part only whereas as far as the angles are concerned just now we discussed square root of angles means divide this value of angle by 2 so answer will be 153.624 divided by 2 will be 76.81 degrees what i'm supposed to do i have to calculate value of alpha and beta gamma is given as alpha plus j beta whatever we did we got the value of gamma this is in polar form so convert this polar form into the rectangular form so this answer will be 0.008 3 plus j 0.3563 now we have the standard formula gamma is equals to alpha plus j beta so directly compare these two values so alpha is first term therefore alpha is 0.0083 it is attenuation constant and beta compare the second part that is this beta will be 
So these are the values of alpha and beta. Remaining part is lambda. We have the ready-made formula. Lambda is 2 pi by beta. So I will write it like this. 2 pi upon beta. Value of beta just now we have calculated it. 0 0.3563. If you solve this, you will get value of lambda as 179.52. Lambda is the wavelength. Basically, SI unit is meters, but this is the transmission line where basic uh, unit is kilometers. So, unit of lambda wavelength is kilometers. And last part is velocity of propagation. Again, we have the direct formula, which is omega upon beta. We have the value of omega, that is 2 pi f. f is 1000, that is 1 kilohertz, divided by beta. We have the value of beta, 0 0.3563. If you solve this, then value of velocity of propagation will be... So this final answer will be 179.5 into 10 raised to 3 kilometers per second. Basic unit of VP is uh, meters per second, but in transmission line it is kilometers per second. Dear students, you might find these calculations a bit uh, lengthy or a bit tough, but it is not at all uh, tough. Once you will be habituate of converting rectangular to polar or polar to rectangular, then the things will be more clear to you. Purposely, I have chosen the uh, numerical so that uh, you will come to know uh, the calculation of all the parameters related to transmission line. Let, now, let us solve one different numerical related to calculation of uh, primary constants. So, next numerical is the characteristic impedance of uniform transmission line, TL stands for transmission line, is 2040 ohm. This is the given characteristic impedance which is denoted by Z0. So, given value of Z0 is 2040 ohm at a frequency of 800 hertz so frequency is f which is 800 hertz the propagation constant propagation constant is denoted by gamma which is 0.054 at an angle 87.9 degrees determine rlcg question may be like this determine primary constant so keep in mind Primary constants are resistor, inductor, capacitor and conductance. Now, how to solve such numericals? We have this set of uh, basic formulae. So, to just uh, simplify the calculations, I can well write this formula as under root of Z upon Y. This is just to make the calculation simple. So, Z means R plus J omega L. Y means G plus J omega C. I will write these equations over here. Z is R plus J omega L and y is g plus j omega c so same formula can be expressed as under root of r plus j omega l upon g plus uh, j omega c is same as under root of z upon y similarly gamma can be simply written as under root of z into y same logic z is r plus j omega l y is g plus j omega c these are the given values of z zero and gamma we are supposed to calculate values values of RLCG. How to uh, proceed for the calculations? First part, I will start with the formula of Z0. Z0 is under root of Z upon Y. I am choosing this formula just to make the things simple. So take square of both sides just to cancel out the square root sign. So I will get Z0 square is equal to Z upon Y. What I did, I took the square root on both sides, a uh, square on both sides to cancel out the square root. So I can write this as z is equals to z0 square into y. I have transferred this y at the LHS and then LHS and RHS are interchanged. Say this is equation number one. Now, second equation, uh, I have the given value of gamma. Gamma is under root of z into y. I will write this formula as gamma is equals to under root of z into y. Again to cancel out the square root sign, take square on both sides. Therefore, I will get gamma square is equals to z into y. So from this, I can write y is equals to gamma square upon z. y is gamma square upon z. This is the value of y y is gamma square upon z, say equation number 2. What I will be doing? Put value of y, that is put equation 2 in equation 1. Put this value of y, that is this value in equation 1 in place of this value. 
So I will get z is equals to z zero square into gamma square upon z. That means if I will transfer this z at the LHS, this will give me z square is equals to z zero square into gamma square. What I did first, I need to calculate value of z only. That means I, I I will be making use of this formula r plus j omega l, and I will get answers of r and l. So I tried to eliminate the y parameter by using this procedure. Now take the square root just to get the equation of z. So this will give me z is equals to z zero into gamma. Simply put the values. Given value of z zero is two zero four zero into gamma. Value of gamma is point not fifty four at an angle eighty seven point nine degrees. This is eighty seven point nine degrees. We are taking multiplication like the last sum we discussed that for multiplication equation should be in polar form. It is already in polar form. There is no angle or no j term, so this value I can well say it is as two zero four zero at an angle zero degree. But at the same thing, so take the multiplication of magnitude, perform the addition of angles. So two zero four zero into point not five four. That means you will be taking multiplication of angles. So answer of Z will be four point zero three at an angle. Sorry, it is eleven one one zero point one six after taking multiplication of two zero four zero into this value one one zero point one six at an angle. See, this angle is zero. Multiplication of angles means addition. So zero plus eighty seven point nine is simply eighty seven point nine degree. Now convert this value into the rectangular form. Why to make the conversion? Because I have to make use of this formula, which is in the rectangular form. So if you convert it into rectangular form, answer will be. I will write this answer over here. Z is equals to 4.03 plus J 110.086. Say equation number three. Now make use of this formula. Z is r plus j omega l. So I will write the formula below this equation three. Z is r plus j omega l. Compare corresponding terms. That means this value will be simply equal to r. So answer of r is four point zero three. Since it is o uh, resistance, its unit is ohm. This is the first answer. R is four point zero three. Second answer j. Into one one zero point zero eight six, and in the formula we have j into omega l. So I will write it like this. Therefore, omega l is equals to one one zero point not eight six. Therefore, l is equals to one one zero point zero eight six divided by omega, which is one one zero point zero eight six divided by omega is two pi f. Omega is two pi f, and value of f, that is frequency, is eight hundred. If you solve this on the calculator, answer will be point not two one nine. Basic unit of uh, inductance is Henry's, but this is the transmission line, and all the values are measured per kilometer. So I will write this unit as Henry's per kilometer. So in the first step, what I did, I have calculated the value of R and L. In the second step. We are supposed to do the calculations of the values G and C. We have to calculate now the values of uh, capacitance and conductance, that is C and G. We have already obtained equation number two, that is Y is equals to gamma square upon Z. We have this formula of Y. Y we discussed. It is G plus J omega C. So compare these two equations. So I can write it like this. G plus J omega C is equals to gamma square upon Z. So gamma square upon Z. Put the value of gamma. Gamma is point not five four at an angle eighty seven point nine degrees. Square of this term upon value of Z, which we have already calculated. So. And value of Z is one one zero point one six at an angle eighty seven point nine degrees. 
See, once again, I'm performing division, so I need the values in the polar form. So I have made use of the form uh, value of z, which was in the polar form. Now, how to take the square? Uh, to take the square, this is the magnitude 0 0.054. Take directly square of this term and square of angle. That means this term. I will write it over here. 87.9 degree square of this is. 2 into 87.9 degrees. So you will get it like this 0.054 this square into 2 into 87.9 degrees. What I did? Angle square means 2 into this value divided by 110.16 at an angle 87.9 degrees. If you simplify this equation, you will get an answer that is equals to 2.647 into 10 raised to minus 5 at an angle 87.9 degrees. Now, this is the, at the LHS, we have this term G plus J omega C. That means LHS term is in rectangular form and RHS is in polar form. I need to express this term into the rectangular form. So I will write it like this G plus J omega C LSS is kept as it is is equals to I am transforming this into the rectangular form that is 9.7 into 10 raised to minus 7 plus J 2.645 into 10 raised to minus 5. Now compare similar terms, that means I will write it like this, this real term at the LHS is J, real term at the RHS is this term, so G is equals to 9.7 into 10 raised to minus 7. This is the conductance, so unit of conductance is mu, it is a reciprocal of unit ohm and it is for the transmission line, so each value is measured per kilometer, so answer of G is 9.7 into 10 raised to minus 7 mo per kilometer. Now, to calculate the uh, value of C, compare this term that is uh, with J, LHS side, at the LHS side, I have omega into C, at the RHS side, which is I have this term, so I will write it like this omega C is equals to 2.645 into 10 raised to minus 5. Therefore, C is equals to 2.645 into 10 raised to minus 5 divided by omega. And we know that omega is 2 pi f. So, I will write value of C as 2.645 into 10 raised to minus 5 upon 2 pi into omega is 2 pi f. F is 800 hertz. 2 pi into 800. If you solve this on the calculator, answer of C will be 5.5. 262 into 10 raised to minus 9. This is the capacitance. So unit is farad. It is for transmission line. So answer is farad for per kilometer. So this is the final answer. Uh, we have solved two types of numericals. So based on this you can do the calculation of all the numericals related to the parameters of transmission line. But as I mentioned at the beginning you need to first learn how to make the conversion from rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular form. So for that you need to watch that video. I will create, provide the link in the description box. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you very much.